Hi, my name is Victoria Yampolsky. I'm the president of the Startup Station. Welcome to our weekly strategic finance tips. In this video, we're going to talk about six tricky investor questions for pitch decks. Definitely hear a lot of those questions when I talk to founders, and I just wanted to do a video that would address them, and uh, we'll talk about uh, how to approach them and what investors really want to know. So uh, question number one, for the problem you're solving, how do you know it exists and that customers will pay for the solution? This is a uh, key question for those startups that are in early stages and haven't really validated their product market fit, right? And of course, investors want to know, okay, so you are amazing. You have a great team. Seems like this product is awesome. But do you know somebody needs it? Have you really tested the demand of the market? Right? What are your proof points? Right? Did you talk to your customers? Did you ascertain that they're going to pay for your product with money, not just by saying, oh, you know, buddy, this is a great idea. So basically what they're asking you to prove to them is, have you verified your product market fit? What have you done to give us confidence that your product is needed by the market yesterday? Question number two, is your business B2C or B2B and is that the right model? Now, what is B2C? B2C is a business to consumer, so you sell to people. B2B is a business to business, so you sell to companies, to businesses, to enterprises. Uh, these are completely different models because uh, what you need to do to convert each customer segment is completely different. The sales cycles are different. The user acquisition strategies are different. Right, And so when investors ask you, is that the right model? It's asking you to think, okay, is your product really uh, for the right target audience, right? A lot of investors like B2B because they have more money and those customers are sticky. However, you know, if you, let's say on the dating side, of course, you know, businesses can't date unless it's a networking site. And of course a dating site would be for people specifically. So what they're asking you here is similar to the question number one, where they are asking you about the product market fit, they're asking, okay, have you thought about your business model? Have you uh, really considered all of the possible scenarios? Is that the most optimal solution? Is that the most optimal monetization strategy for your business? Question number three, can you grow downstream or upstream from your market? Now, this is a question about vertical integration. Right, upstream is your supplies, downstream are your customers, and this is basically you controlling more of the supply chain. And um, of course, this is a great question. It's not always necessary to be able to do that. That really depends on your business. But let me give you an example of Amazon. Amazon, for example, uh, first just uh, um, shipped books, right? And then, of course, then they expanded to more products, but then they began to have their own shipping capabilities, right? And initially they utilized somebody else. So this is an example of vertical integration where they took a little bit more of the market. So shipping was uh, their provider and now they are able to do some of that work in addition to employing still some of the shipping providers anyway, because they have so much demand. So it's not a necessary thing, but investors definitely want to know, have you thought about uh, that in the future, is this part of your long-term strategy? Question number four, how will you reach your customers? Detail that strategy, what it costs and how you know it's working, right? This is a question on go-to-market strategy. This is one of the weakest points of all of the startup pitch decks. And uh, it's incredibly important because that is what you use to project your demand. So what is your go-to-market strategy? How will you get customers? How will you find them? Who are they? How much it will cost you? Will it be marketing? Will it be sales force? Uh, if it's marketing, what strategies are you gonna use? If it's a sales force, how many people are you gonna hire? What is the sales cycle? How many customers can they bring for sales cycle, right? It is incredibly, incredibly important. Your go-to-market strategy is directly connected to how you're gonna generate revenue. Question number five. What will you do, okay, if you cannot raise money from angels or VCs? And this is not a comfortable question because, of course, you're there in front of them and you're trying to raise money. You don't want to think about the possibility of failure. However, it's important to have a plan B, right? They want to know you're not going bankrupt tomorrow. They want to know, hey, I have six months to raise money. 
And then if I can raise, this is this is my plan, right? I'm gonna apply for a grant, I'm gonna go slower, I'm gonna bootstrap, I'm gonna take a loan, right? I uh, already have commitments from investors, which will allow me to reach the next milestone, whatever it is they want to see, have you thought about what's going to happen in the worst case scenario? And how much money you have left, right? What is your current runway? Question number six, long-term goal, right? How profitable can your business be in five to 10 years and how much capital is required for growth, right? So what they wanna know is, okay, so they're investing in the very beginning, okay? They want to see, can you become a unicorn? Have you thought about becoming a unicorn? Right? How much capital will you need to become a unicorn? How big are you dreaming? They want to see big dreamers. They want to see Elon Musk. They want to see you uh, say, I will take over the world. Right, And this is my plan to do it. Not just say it, but prove it. This is my plan to do it. This is what I'm planning to do. This is my go-to-market strategy. This is my business model. This is my proof that my customers want my product. And here you go. If you like this video, please like it, share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more strategic finance tips every week. And follow us on social media uh, for uh, more very exciting and useful content for entrepreneurs.